वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद यू वंस अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो फॉर एक्सप्लेन ट्वेल्व आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो बाई कीपिंग टू काइंड ऑफ पीपल इन माई माइंड द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ पीपल आर दोज हु हैव एक्चुअली ओन एक्सप्लेन एलेवन एंड दे नो हाउ टू अपडेट द एरैक साइकिल यूजिंग द नेविग्राफ्स फ्लाइट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम डेटा मैनेजर एंड दे हैव बीन अपडेटिंग इट फॉर एक्सप्लेन एलेवन बट दे के नॉट फिगर आउट हाउ टू डू इट फॉर एक्सप्लेन ट्वेल्व बिकॉज ऑनस्टली आई बीन डूइंग इट फॉर एक्सप्लेन एलेवन बट फॉर एक्सप्लेन ट्वेल्व आई uh couldn't do it so i just found a little trick which i'm going to share with you and plus it's also going to be useful for all those people who are actually new to explain 12 and uh, they have no experience of explain 11 or 10 and uh, they don't know how to update the airac cycle which is uh, the aeronautical information regulation and control cycle it actually uh, consists of uh, the information regarding the waypoints the airports uh the airways Uh, because um, all these airways and waypoints um, are based on some gps coordinates and they have a name so they have to be updated in the system which is the flight management system or mcdu in case of A- airbus which is the multifunction control and display unit so navigraph is the site from where you can get the subscription and you can download the data manager to update the airac cycle in your plane and to get rid of the error nav data out of date So uh, this is the site. If you go over here um, in this product section and you see subscriptions, you'll see three types of subscriptions. The first subscription is a very simple plain subscription, a yearly subscription for nav data. And every time uh, during this year, year when you are subscribed to uh, nav data, uh, when every time when there is a new airac cycle, uh, it will be updated in explain ten. Oh, sorry, explain twelve, <laughs> not ten. And uh, plus, if you have the ultimate packages, either monthly or yearly. You'll also have access to the Jefferson Airport charts, the interact- interactive and route charts, moving maps, uh, route calculations, and everything. So you'll get more um, stuff with it. So uh, that's why I'm using uh, this subscription, the monthly subscription, because I'm not regular with the flight simulator. So maybe for two or three months I'm away. So then I suspend my subscription. But once I need it, I renew it again. But if you want, you can also go for the yearly subscription. Once you have your subscription. go to your, your profile and uh, click your account and over here you will see uh, these two options uh, fms data manager for windows and fms data manager for mac os so you can download it depending upon uh, the operating system you're using either windows or mac os once downloaded you can install it you can install it in your c drive d drive whatever the drive you want to install once downloaded and installed um, you have to log into this uh, application using your navigraphs uh, username or email address and password and once you are logged in you see this interface now all you have to do is this you have to update uh, the airac cycle for explain 12 or to get rid of the nav data out of date error uh so it's very easy to do it go to add on mappings and uh, simply click scan now this uh, flight management system uh, data manager will actually scan for the exe files for explain 11 and and explain 12 because i have both installed on my system and it will give me the list and i will update the airac cycle for all those people who were actually using it for explain 11 but cannot do it for explain 12 uh, when i was doing a scan um i couldn't find explain 12 so i tried for 5 6 minutes then uh, uh, something came into my mind i uninstalled and the fms data manager downloaded it again from the navigraph and install it so after reinstalling it uh, the explain 12 started to appear when i was scanning uh, for the flight simulators so this is how i actually um, uh, was able to uh, scan for explain 12 so if you cannot find uh, explain 12 uh, you can reinstall it and then it will be visible to you right now you can see it is going through the complete Uh, database or my drives in order to find the flight simulators for explain which is 11 and uh, 12 so both are now here and they are added all i have to do is this click save and that's it then i can go to the add on list and i can download the airac cycle right now they are already updated for september 22 this is the year 22 and 09 is the month year and the month Uh, similarly you can update the airwag cycle uh, for the zebu mod planes uh, for the flight factor planes or any other plane which is available in the market right now i am not going to touch uh, those uh, uh, planes <laughs> in this video i just wanted to keep it simple so that you can do, um, update the airwag cycle for explain 12 
but I will make another video in which I will tell you how to update the ARAC cycle for um, the flight factors uh, planes or the Zebo mod plane or any other uh, plane that you have available with you. So right now you can see uh, it is getting downloaded and uh, and that's it. So let's uh, go to X plane 12 and show you um, how it's updated. So this is the default Boeing 737-800 uh, for X plane 12. And if I go to FMS I, and if I click uh, status, you will see that the active database shows 8 September 22 to 6 October 22. So this ARAC cycle is now updated. After downloading, it's already updated over here. Uh, so the next ARAC cycle will come after the 6th of October 2022. So that's how you update the ARAC cycle uh, for x 12. And you can see the nav data out of date error is no longer there. So this was the video, a short and small video for all those people who are actually new to the x 12 or cannot figure out how to uh, update the ARAC cycle for x 12. Uh, just to reinforce my point, simply uninstall the FMS data manager and install it again and maybe your problem will be solved. Simply scan your system and uh, your x 12 will be visible in the FMS data manager. If you've got any further questions, do ask me in the comment section. I'll try to answer your questions on time. But if there is a delay, kindly accept my apologies in advance. For any feedback, for any comment, or you want to add anything to it, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.